YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Lady Colin Campbell's remarks regarding Meghan and Harry have been picked up by the main press. Of course, it's the Daily Mail. And I found it quite an interesting read. She's gone in on Harry and Meghan's characters and we all knew that she would deliver us the lowdown tea of what exactly did go on when Meghan and Harry were senior members of the royal family. Now, a lot of her accounts, I do believe, I'm not sure and it hasn't been made clear as to whether she ever had any direct interactions with Meghan and Harry. I do believe that she has some valuable points and some valuable inside scoop. I haven't as yet picked up her publication the book but i will be picking it up very soon to get some more low down juicy insider stuff so the article basically goes in on the way in which megan handled herself and conducted herself at royal events and the way in which she interacted with guests especially at one of harry's best friend's weddings now allegedly she was quite dismissive and very rude to a young lady who actually went up and complimented her and wished her happy birthday and it seems that this lady didn't really quite make the grade to be deemed worthy of Megan's attention or any interaction whatsoever. So I think that she felt that she was possibly beneath her. We know that Meghan Markle has been seen and demonstrated that she, when she freezes you out, she freezes you out cold. This is not the first account of Meghan Markle ditching and running away from good family friends from childhood friends and from family members even she has a strange relationship with her dad she didn't invite any black or white family members to the wedding outside of doria it seems as though she just judges people's worth based upon their net worth it would seem every celebrity under the sun get did get an invite to that wedding including people who didn't actually know her some of the invitations that she sent out were declined and i do believe that these invitations would have been spearheaded by megan herself because let's face it harry doesn't want to be papped Harry doesn't like the media intrusion and invasion, but Meghan, on the other hand, does. She manoeuvred herself into a position where she would take world centre stage, and that's exactly what she has had for the last two years while being in the public eye. I think she's lapping it up. Now, I did see a couple of days ago this article regarding her suing in Archie's name for the Canadian dog walking shots. I think that it is all a desperate ploy for attention to be bigger than the headlines. We can see that their PR firm is really cranking up the marketing machine and they are creating more and more shocking mouth jaw dropping moments for all of us to be shocked by it's the shock factor isn't it it's that element of surprise that megan and harry really do do well i think that could be a good business for them for them to actually go into marketing themselves as to how they could possibly allow people to have that effect but in a positive way they struggle with the positive elements don't they we're going to get into the article lady colin campbell has claimed Meghan markle has cost prince harry most of his friends and that the duchess was rude at his best friend's wedding in an extraordinary extract of her book Meghan and harry the real story released today in an extract lady colin campbell claimed a source told her Meghan froze out other guests at the wedding of Prince Harry's best friend, Charlie Van to Daisy Jenks. The release of the book comes ahead of Harry and Meghan's new biography, Finding Freedom. 
Lady Colin Campbell writes, a girl went up to Megan, introduced herself and said how beautiful she thought she was. She said she knew it was Megan's birthday and wished her a happy birthday. Megan looked at her as if she had committed a great faux pas by speaking to her and walked off. And I think that this was possibly due to Megan not really knowing what her background was or maybe even knowing what her background was, knowing that maybe she wasn't an elite person, an elite character, or she wasn't a famous face. And it gives you an insight as to how Megan would treat a regular person like me or you, especially if it's not for her own PR purposes like when she's doing these charity feeding oh, escapades when she's going to these soup kitchens and she's interacting with volunteers and various staff members there she knows that the camera's there so she doesn't want to be seen to be dismissing people but this is someone who everyone in her life has pretty much said according to their own opinions and experiences with her that as soon as you've served up your use Meghan Markle serves you the the door the exit sign the goodbye she is rumored to have sent Trevor Engelson her previous husband the wedding rings in the mail she was done with it she was over it she's not having a conversation about it once it's she decides that it's over it's over she also done this to her childhood friend pretty who quite categorically said that she is very strategic and calculated in the way in which she forms groups of friends she ditched her like a hot sack of potatoes this doesn't surprise me that this would have happened i do believe there's validity in it it it's not a shock and i'm sure it's not a shock for you guys listening either Lady Colin Campbell go goes on to say, it was so cold, Campbell quotes, someone who witnessed the exchange as saying, really rude. Claiming a further source told her that worse was to follow at the wedding breakfast, she continues. Another girl told Megan how much she admired her and how wonderful she thought she was, that she and Harry were married and how well she thought she was doing, which is a nice thing to say to someone. Congratulations on your you found love. I hope that you, it works out and it's nice to meet you and da da da. And these were the, all the little things that, you know, interactions that we have at weddings and events. And she goes on to say, she told her she was rooting for them and wish them well. Megan's response is she looked her up and down, turned away without saying a word to her for the rest of the wedding breakfast. Could this have been that maybe this lady was extremely attractive? Could it have been an element of jealousy, feeling threatened? This does tend to happen. People can feel threatened. Someone who is quite possibly, because a lot of Megan's actions do, for me personally, look like the actions of someone who has a lot of insecurities. Some of the most successful people and ruthless people are extremely insecure people also. Could it have been that? I don't know, but it's very in line with everything else that most people do say about her after they meet her. They generally don't have really nice things to say about this woman. Even the photographers in Toronto didn't have anything nice to say about her. They was afraid of working with her. They was categorically told that they could not photograph her feet. She was very dismissive, cold and rude and all it all kind of meshes together, doesn't it? Lady Colin Campbell claimed Harry would be too weak to leave Meghan, who she says has caused him to lose most of his friends. Continuing to ride her Sussex-shaped fame wave, page six reports that an extract in the book reads Meghan's a total opportunist. She knew in advance she'd embark on commercial ventures which royalty strictly forbids, claiming that Prince Philip nicknamed Meghan Tungsten due to her rock-solid self-belief. 
It continues, she now has what she wanted, a millionaire's life in Hollywood. She's caused Harry to lose most of his friends. And Harry does look like a lonely guy, a deserted character. And he doesn't look happy, as I stated in my previous video, which I posted before this one. He looks withdrawn. He looks like he's lost a little bit of weight. Now, it could have been a camera angle. It could have been a myriad of things, but from what I saw, I definitely saw a slimmer frame and I saw someone who looks sad, really sad, and like he's missing creature comforts and he's just missing home. He looks like someone who wants to come home. He's weaker than she is. He's run ragged. Despite the sex, she will make his life miserable. He has no strength of character to leave her. Lady Colin Campbell believes Megan has political aspirations and hopes to one day run for president. The author has given a number of interviews about the couple in recent weeks, including one with the Sunday Times, in which she said, Meghan has squandered the most wonderful opportunity by leaving the royal family. She also claimed the signs Meghan would not adjust well to life as a royal were apparent shortly after her wedding and then there was a myriad of comments that people left and i'm just gonna read one here i just don't understand why megan would walk away without saying anything when someone complimented her on more than one occasion i'm not a fan but this doesn't sound plausible so this person's questioning the validity of it I think it is plausible. I think we're talking about Megan here. So I think, unfortunately, this did happen. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I'll be back with another video. Bye, guys.